What's up, everybody? I'm David Hain. Welcome to episode 200 of the A to D from Addict to Disciple podcast. I want to thank all of my listeners for being with me every week or however you drop in sporadically or binge or whatever it is. 200 is a huge milestone for me, and I really appreciate your support. So I'm not uh, ready to give up. I'm going to keep it going every week. So keep getting your friends to listen and share it wherever you can. When we come back, we'll get into this episode entitled Celebrating 200 Episodes. Welcome back to episode 200 of the ATD from Addict to Disciple podcast entitled Celebrating 200 Episodes. So that's a, a huge amount and I wouldn't want to record this episode without including my friends in recovery from the U.S., South Africa, and Australia who've joined me in these group episodes for so many of them over these years. And guys, I appreciate you. I want to thank you. And let's do one where we just celebrate together. So guys, here's your question. Looking back on your involvement in this podcast group, What's your favorite memory, or why do you like being part of it? Ben, you want to start us off? Sure, David. First and foremost, congratulations on 200 episodes. Thank you for your faithfulness to be consistent in this journey of sharing hope with people. I'd have to say for me personally, it's the different perspectives on a single topic that really keeps me coming back. I just love how each one of us in this group sees something different in whatever the topic may be. I feel like I'm given the advantage of an aerial view on something by seeing how someone else perceives it. And with each corresponding viewpoint, I'm lifted higher and higher to get an even better view on the entire situation. It's given me more confidence in community as well. Because of these groups, I've come to realize that we are better together. Good stuff, Ben. We truly are better together. And I love your aerial view perspective of the other guy's viewpoints. Charlie, what do you have to say on this episode? David, it's an honor to be part of the podcast. I like being part of it because I gain greater connections with people around the world and find opportunities to help others and share God with them. My favorite memory is joining your Zoom into South Africa and learning and connecting with the people there. I also must say the first episode, number one, sticks in my heart. I had a family member struggling just recently and I needed to talk to her. I had so much fear and pain, I felt like I couldn't do it because it was my fault that she's the way she is. She's learned by watching me. So I re-listened to the first episode and gained confidence and had the formula to sit down and talk in a way that helped her. I'm super grateful for that. And I'm also grateful for moments spent with you, David. I just love being with people and getting to know their hearts and sharing in their lives and helping when I can if they ask for it. Man, I love recovery. Sure. Great to hear how much you've been able to not only enjoy these, but how you could go back to an episode like the very first one and find the words to share with your family. Thanks again, Charlie. Eddie, what do you have to say? Well, David, I don't know that I have one particular memory that stands out larger than the other ones. Being sober for so many years, you tend to get caught up with living and making memories that you forget that giving back is part of the process. So this podcast has given me the opportunity to do just that, to be able to give back, to be able to lend my experiences and coping mechanisms to others who are still in the early parts of recovery. When I get the opportunity to relive or explain how I coped, it touches people that I don't even meet because of your podcast. I get to relive what I have been through and become more grateful for how I have grown in this time also. 
It's a time to share, but I also appreciate the growth that I'm getting also. Awesome, Eddie. It's cool how being in this group gives you the platform to give back and to remember to be grateful for your own growth. Dante, what do you have to say? David, what I've loved about these conversations is how it helps me and recalling things in my past that I've worked through and that I've overcome that have helped me all these things. Mountains climbed are so important to be remembered and not forgotten. I love the fact that I get to be used by God across the world on a podcast like this, and then I get to contribute to God's kingdom through the encouragement of my stories and the care for others in just the, this way, the, in this format that you've set up. It's truly been an honor. Thank you, Dante. I like the picture of remembering the mountains that we have climbed because truly they are not to be forgotten. They've helped us grow. They've helped us transform and change, and they've helped us be able to get stronger each step on those mountains. Harry, what do you have to say? Hi, David and guys in the group. 200 episodes. Well done and keep up the good work. And I want to applaud all the guys in the group for your consistency in sharing and just the way the things you've shared have touched my heart. If I had to think back to my favorite episode, it most definitely would be my first interview with you, David, during COVID. It's an overwhelming feeling of knowing how my testimony touched a few and how a lot of people who heard that first interview contacted me for assistance or advice. I love being part of the podcast because I know that someone out there in recovery will definitely be able to relate to my experiences and the experiences and of the other guys in the group. And through that, get some firsthand knowledge of how to overcome the areas that they may be struggling in. We are perfect examples of God's grace, healing power, and his divine blessing. What he has done for us, he will definitely do for those out there who still struggle with addictions. Well said, Harry. I'm amazed how many people reach out with feedback or questions after every episode. And I'm really touched in the one-on-one -on -one interview that you did with me, how people contacted you and said, well done, and what the encouragement your testimony was. Keep up the great work. Freddie, you ready to close us out on this session today? Sure, David. I must say I've so much enjoyed listening to and participating in your podcasts. Thank you for including me, David, in your podcast just recently. You're a shining beacon to many, and I value our friendship, and I truly admire your work. I particularly enjoy the power of spirituality, how refreshing it is to hear a solution for the problem. It's also a joy experiencing unity in these days of so much division. And I feel a unity with the other guys that share in this group. Some of my personal takeaways include some quotes, if I can share them. Go right ahead, Freddie. We always enjoy your quotes. Okay, my first one's from Mel Robbins. It says, your past is a lesson, not a life sentence. Forgive yourself and focus on the future. My second one is from Carl Barth, and it's a short one, but it's a great one. It simply says, joy is the simplest form of gratitude. And may I say, participating in this group has brought me a lot of joy. My next one is an, an anonymous quote, and maybe even me paraphrasing it with the way it's touched me. Kindness is a habit of giving. It humanizes us. It lifts us spiritually. And it is good for us to experience and more importantly, to share light to those who are living in darkness is truly a joy. Well said there, Freddie. Hold on, David. I've got a couple more if that's okay. Sure, go ahead. And this is one of my dearly departed friends, Bernard, who was a musician and a former counselor at the retreat, the rehab that I went to. And he often would say, look at others with soft eyes. 
And that's been a big challenge for me to not be judgmental, but to have soft eyes of understanding. Awesome. And in closing on my part, David, I'll leave you with a song from Tim McGraw called Humbled and Kind. Here's the closing lyric. Don't take for granted the love this life gives you. When you get where you're going, don't forget to turn back around and help the next one in line. Always stay humble and kind. Great way to close us off, Freddie. None of us should ever forget to turn back around and help the next one in line for recovery. Thanks for listening to this episode of the A to D from Addict to Disciple podcast and for celebrating the 200 episodes with me and the guys in the group. If you really would like to be part of this or a a bigger part of this, you can always send me ideas for episodes. You can join this group or another group, you know, whatever you feel led to do. Just message me on the link in this podcast or by email at david from a to d at gmail.com. You can go to my website, www.fromatod.org, and click on the contact page. Or you can see more of what we're doing by following me on Instagram, at David from A to D. Tune in Monday for our next episode. And as always, stay safe and stay resilient. Thank you.